Hi everyone, it's Jess. I'm back with a new video for you today. This one is going to be our part two to our Skip It the Puppy drawing. Today we will be colouring Skip It. Um, I've really enjoyed seeing the art that you've already produced of Bud the Bunny and Skip It the Puppy. So please keep those coming in. Just tag me at Jess Bircham Illustration and I would love to feature you. And I have already done on my stories on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so send those to me, that would be great. Um, I'd also just like to say that these videos are not just for kids because I've actually had some really great art from adults too, which is wonderful. So it's just a basic how to draw video and I'd love it if you, you um, drew along with me. And if you're finding it um, fun and you know therapeutic, I find drawing very therapeutic. So. Um, I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying these videos. So let's get started on colouring Skip It. Hi everyone, okay we are going to start colouring Skip It. I'm going to be doing it in Photoshop, you can do it on a tablet or you can just use good old colouring pencils um, or paints, anything that you have at home is great. So right here I've got a drawing layer. I'm going to add another layer and drag it underneath and I'm going to call it color. So this is the drawing that we already did yesterday. Um, the first thing I want to do is do a basic body color all over, which is going to be, he's a kind of a, a cream color. So I'm going to get a cream so you would get that from your computer or a cream colored pencil or paint. And then you're just going to Colour it all over his body. Here we go. I'm using a watercolour brush on here because I like it to look like it's still real um, traditional art. Um, and then I'm just going to start by building up the layers. So the light I'm going to have coming from the left side, you can have it coming from wherever you want. But wherever you choose to have the light coming from, you want to obviously have the lighter shade closest to that and then get it darker as it's going into shadow. So I'm going to, you would then just press a little bit lighter if using colored pencils and you're just going to build up your shadow. As you can see, I left, I left this light here. And anywhere where there would be shadows, you want to build up the color there. So I'm going to add a bit here. And don't worry too much if it looks a bit stark, a bit too much for contrast, because we're going to blend it in a minute. Shadow down the right side of his paws and legs. And this whole side of the body would be in shadow, so we're going to do the whole thing there. And then add a little more on the underside and under his neck, his head. And then right here on the right side, a bit more shadow then on his chest. And then his muzzle comes out from his face, so you want to have a bit darker here than here. You still want to have some shadow, but it would be darker there. His ear. And more shadow more more darkness right here as the foot goes in towards like where he's sitting on his legs you would have that be darker okay i'm going to go for a little bit of gray and i just like that just to add that final bit of shadow there we go perfect Okay, now I'm going to, um, I think I'll blend it a little bit first. So if you're using pencils, you can use your finger to blend. You can use a special blending tool if you have one. Or you can just very gently use your pencil to add softer color on so it sort of blends it. And if you're using watercolor, real watercolor paintings, then uh, you can use uh, your brush just to blend this. You would just use your brush to sort of smooth it, get a little bit of water on your brush and um, just smooth all those lines out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give him some pink now, sort of a reddish orangey pink. 
I have to tell you, you can't see this right now, but it's snowing outside. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like a winter wonderland. Okay, some pink cheeks, pink ears, and that looks a bit in your face, so we're going to, oops, get my blending tool. These are all the Coyote Webster brushes and blending tools. I really enjoy them, they're great. Just sort of smooth that in. Yeah, good. Now, the thing with Skipper is he has some brown patches on him, make him very distinctive. So I'm gonna go for sort of an orangey brown. Like that. And we're gonna give him an eye patch, and he has it on his left eye. Oh, see that? I don't like, I'm going to do a bit, of, a bit brighter. There we go. So around his eye, over his eyebrow, and curving around his muzzle, just do this sort of a round shape. Cool. Add another layer of colour. And one more just around the eye. I know that looks crazy right now, but it's okay. We're going to do this right ear. He has a diagonal, his right ear has colour. There we go. And then he has a little bit of colour down his sides. So we're just going to put some down here and up on his haunches of his legs. And the same on the other side. And then I'm going to add a bit more here at the top because it makes it have a bit of a shadow. There we go. And also his tail is brown. So you want to build up the darkness. Do you see how I've done that in the corner? Darker, whenever there's a crease or like a, a fold, that's where you would add a more color, a little bit darker. Okay. Now just the final touches is to blend a little bit. There we go, a little bit of blending. You don't have to blend it if you don't want to. Remember this is your art and you can make it different. It does not have to look exactly like mine because it won't because you're not me and you know that's good. That We're all individual and we can all do our own art and it's special because you did it. There we go. Blend the ear and there you have it. You've coloured Skip It. So, well done. You've just finished colouring your picture of Skip It. And I'm super proud of you. And I'm really glad that you got through this video and have done another really great drawing. Um, go ahead and send me your art. And so today, what you did was you coloured Skip It from Bunnies by the Bay. And there he is, that Skip It right there with his best friend, Bud. So, um... The next one I'll do probably uh, next week or maybe tomorrow. Um, and I was thinking I would do Foxy the Fox. So uh, stay tuned for that. And if there's anything in particular you really want to learn, then please uh, write a comment or send me a message. Thanks so much, everyone. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye.